How's it going, guys? It is 2.03 a.m., 16th of April here in Japan. We have a difficult question for vaccine slash immuno for step one. Big picture concepts, okay? I'll make this very clean and easy. If you think this question is weird or nitpicky, don't take it up with me. Take it up with the NBME exam because nearly identical questions shows up one of the offline forms with identical answer choices. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, element underscore medical, M E H L M A N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel. Down below, now start the clip. Protection against polio can be achieved by either live attenuated Sabin vaccine or killed solid vaccine. Question asks The shared feature of both vaccines is their ability to induce which of the following immune responses. You look at all these answer choices, you say, no fucking idea. And as I already said, I'll make this very clean and easy. So, Live attenuated vaccine is going to be given orally. Killed salt vaccines given intramuscular. So polio is one of the enteroviruses. So it's contracted fecal oral normally. That's why the live attenuated is given orally. So enteroviruses, Coxsackie A and B, uh, polio, echovirus, hepatitis A. Okay, so uh, live attenuated vaccine. This is the only one that's going to generate gut IgA. So you know instantaneously choice E, wrong fucking answer, okay? So IgA production with the payers patches of the ileum, dimer secreted into the small bowel lumina connected by a J chain, bunch of nonsense, okay? We don't have a numerical step one anymore, but big picture concept is that live attenuate is gonna generate gut IgA. You're not gonna have that with killed sulk. Salk, the killed intramuscular, it's not exposed to the GI tract. So why would you get IgA within the gut? It's not going to happen. So we look at the other answer choices here and you say, no idea. All right, well, you know A, B, and C are all fucking wrong because they mentioned CD8 plus response here. So this is what you need to know. Live attenuated vaccine, this is going to invade the cell on its own where any organism, which is basically viruses, if they invade the cell on their own, they're going to be expressed on MHC1, which will be exposed to CD8 plus T cells. Well, the killed salt is clearly not going to invade the cell on its own, so you're not going to get a CD8 plus response. The only way killed is going to, killed salt is going to enter the cell is via phagocytosis, where in turn you're expressed on MHC2 to CD4 plus T cells. So normally, Live attenuated virus, it's going to enter the cell. You need pr uh, proteasomes in order to process antigen and put it on MHC1. You need to know that TAP proteins, asked on NBME 24 offline for step one, as well as beta 2 microglobulin, asked on another NBME. TAP proteins of beta 2 microglobulin are required for translocation of antigen to the cell surface for, for expression on MHC1. You also need to know bortezomib is a drug, it's asked twice on the new NBME exams, inhibits proteasome function and disrupts MHC1 expression. That's asked on one question. Second question is a, a bortezomib decreases CD8 plus T cell activation because clearly you're disrupting MHC1 function. So CD8 plus T cells aren't gonna be activated. Now, killed virus that is phagocytosed by the cell, you need to know that this will be part of the endocytic pathway that's an answer choice that shows up on one of the exams. You need to know that there's going to be dissociation from an invariant chain uh, following uh, exposure to an acidified phagolysisome. Very verbose, absolute garbage, okay? But I'm just telling you stuff that shows up on the NBME exams. And you're going to get translocation to the cell surface after that. So invariant chain, endocytic pathway, decreased pH of phagolysosomes, all buzzy phrases for MHC2, whereas for MHC1, you're going to have TAP proteins, beta-2 microglobulin, and proteasome function. That's important. So both vaccines are going to be capable of generating IgG in the circulation. That's what you need to know. This is the answer on the offline NBME exam. So as I already mentioned at the start of this clip, if you think this question is a little bit weird, nitpicky, not my fucking opinion. All right, so big picture concepts, live attenuated virus is the only one that's going to generate IgA in the gut, and it's the only one that's going to generate a CD8 plus T cell response in any regard because it's MHC1, whereas killed virus, it's going to be MHC2, only exposure to CD4 plus T cells. You know the deal, I'm going to make more content if you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.